Hi everybody, can you believe I have another 100 things to declutter out of my house? If you don't know what this video is about, I will link the other three like it down below. Basically, I go around my house and I find 100 items or actually more because sometimes I group or pair items together and I get them out of my house. I give them to friends, I donate them, I sell them or I chuck them out and I just get rid of things that I'm not using. Today I'm actually doing my 100 things declutter as a collaboration with Anne from Annie's Simple Life. I will link her channel down below. You need to go and check it out because she has wonderful content about natural living and essential oils and she seems quite organized and together so I'm really curious to see what 100 things she is going to find around her home to get rid of. Anyway, here are the 100 items that I got rid of out of my own home. This little lampshade, I have no use for it. Too small, this hoe, and it has a hole in. All Daniel wanted, he went through a phase, was v-neck t-shirts, but no, we won't wear v-neck t-shirts, so there's no point holding onto this one that Daniel's passed down. Ditto. I was sorting through the clothes for Noah, and he would have worn these shorts, but they're actually ripped at the back and they're completely frayed there so it's not even like I can mend it. These ones are also damaged, they've lost the little hook thingy. Outgrown school pants. Outgrown. Too small and it also has a hole in the front. These were passed down from Daniel to Noah but when Noah went to wear them, realised there's a gaping big hole in the knee so I have no idea why I even saved these. This magazine holder because it's kind of old and flimsy and I filled it with magazines and picked it up and the bottom fell out so it's yeah it's just not sturdy enough to do the job anymore. I've been collecting these New Zealand Gardener magazines from op shops, thrift stores because gardening information doesn't really go out of date and then I can reference that month's magazines and it's even better if I have a few years so I have a few to reference but this is an excess one. I have a duplicate. I now have a list on my phone of which years I have of each month so that won't happen again, but I don't need this one. Another couple of the New Zealand Gardener magazines. These are sometimes sold in a bundle, and I bought a bundle of, I think, five, and these two I already had. This strap came off a bag that is broken. Um, I don't know why I still have the strap, and it has a rubber band in it, <laughs> but we don't need that. This CoverGirl lipstick is kind of gross. I've worn it maybe twice. First of all, it doesn't come out as nice of a color as that. It comes out kind of like 1980s frosted. But second of all, it just tastes like perfume. No matter how much I try not to get it in my mouth, when I'm wearing it, I just taste perfume. You know, when you spray perfume and it goes in your mouth, who wants to experience that? Too small. This cloth glasses bag came with my latest Fumu sunglasses, but we have enough hard cases that this just won't get used. This little stylus came with a phone case, but none of us will use it. Outgrown by nowhere. I've got a bunch of these little spice jars from Ikea that I am not using, and Grant doesn't want to use it in his workshop for nails and stuff. The reason I'm not using them is because I have these spice racks, and only four of them fit on the shelf, whereas if I use these ones, which I got at the dollar store, then I can fit five in a row. So, yeah. Anyway, Jess says she will use them, so I'm just going to pass them on to her. I've got two lunchbox lids that are both cracked and broken. The other lunchbox is cracked and broken, and this one might as well get tossed, because without the lids, it's pointless. This um, small electric blanket, we have all the electric blankets we need. This one's extra, so there's no point keeping it. A couple of plush toys that are actually hand puppets. Noah loved these back in the day, but he's no longer a fan. This Hot Wheels car carrier truck thingy is actually broken and no, it hasn't played with it in a while. I have some miniature crockery. If you remember a while ago, I discovered miniature cooking videos on YouTube and Noah and I were delighted with them and we kind of wanted to do our own. He wanted to film some of our own. So I started collecting miniature bits and we never got around to it and we've both lost interest. So they can go right back to the op shop. This is like a pop-up frisbee. <laughs> I think it was a free gift. We never use it. A bunch of little stuffed toys. I'll just group them together. Random sock puppet. Random Playmobil figure. A handful of blockheads. I guess the boys were into this a while ago, but are no longer. They don't play with this. A motorbike that Nova doesn't play with. Random eraser. This toy car is actually a tin. 
and the boys have like added paint effects for I think a video they were making or a game they were doing but they don't want it anymore. A phone case for a phone that is no longer in use. This remote control car is broken. This sleep mask is pretty ancient and it's very tight and you can see the elastics all kind of breaking. This top has shrunk in the wash so it's way too short and it also has a grease stain that I haven't been able to get out. This shirt is outgrown by both my boys. I started clearing out the bathroom cabinet and I don't even know why I still had this. It's kind of corroded and gross. I also found this old spray bottle in which I'd mixed an after sun solution. It's got essential oils and rooibos or red bush tea and I can't remember what else but it's been there forever and it's kind of gross. A barrel brush because my hair is really short. An old puffy that we don't use. Another couple of hairbrushes that nobody uses. An almost empty tub of cream. This is actually really really good for dry feet in particular but it's ancient and almost finished. A Juice Beauty Green Apple Peel. It's like a face treatment but it's so old. Another ancient face treatment. An old razor handle. I don't use this razor anymore. The blades are quite expensive and if I do want to go back to using it I'll get a new handle because this one's gross. Four ancient empty or almost empty bottles of perfume. A pump top for a soap dispenser which is actually broken. Ancient and extremely cheap eyelashes and adhesive which I don't actually wear. A kind of gross old tub of I think some kind of lotion or cream. A whole handful of old toothbrushes. Why? Why was this in my bathroom cabinet? A random plastic cup. A random hair tie. An old stretched out headband. This really old lipstick. It's not a good colour on me and it's kind of a horrible formula as well. I'm pretty sure I bought this lip gloss when Daniel was a baby and he is almost 16 so <laughs> I don't know why I still have it and the, the lid's broken, it doesn't screw on anymore either so that can definitely go. This is no longer wanted. This is a little dress that I used to wear as a tunic over leggings but I haven't worn it in the last couple of years. It's got wool in it so it's a little bit scratchy and it also makes it quite warm but then it is short sleeve so and it's got these weird like ruched sleeves so I'm just gonna let this go. Outgrown. This is a bra that I actually wore to death. It is broken in multiple places just from you know my hectic breasts apparently that's coming out so it's time to let that go. Oh excuse the paint on my hands. Outgrown. This door stop from Ikea is really good. Um, it's kind of like a pressure one but it's actually broken this is broken and it keeps falling off and I've installed a door stopper on the door so don't need that anymore a scentsy scent pack that is no longer smelly I have never actually worn these shoes I bought them new on eBay years ago but although they are new and they haven't been worn like the soles are still pristine um, the straps have kind of scraped I guess from trying on so they don't look good worn with a skirt but then I've never ever worn them with jeans or anything so there's no point hanging on to them if I haven't worn them in oh six seven years so these can go I shared this matte liquid lipstick in a fails a little while ago it is extremely sticky and I never ever wear it this one is even worse so this can go as well this is a top that you would have seen in my vlogs. It got sunscreen stains on and I bleached it and it used to be navy and white stripe and it bleached um, to kind of red and white stripe but it's really uneven and I think I'm just going to let this one go. This is a lip gloss I've had for years and years. I bought it in England and we've been in New Zealand for six years so there you go. Um, it's actually separating and kind of gross so that can definitely go. I'm a huge fan of Rimmel lipsticks and this one is really nice and moisturizing, it just slicks on, however it has the chunkiest glitter in it, like huge chunks of silver glitter, so for that reason I don't really tend to wear it, so this can go. Here's another one in pink, it's the Cool Shine lipsticks, but why with the big chunky silver glitter? 
I haven't worn this cardigan in probably years and I put it on on Sunday and I just really don't like how it fits so I have no idea why I'm keeping it and will do so no longer. Found this old filter jug in the cupboard. It was actually quite an expensive one with a really expensive filter to remove fluoride but I didn't find it actually made any difference to my health so we now have a filter on our tap to remove chlorine and everything else and I won't be using this again so this can go. I bought a new pig basket because this one is all broken. This is too small and I haven't worn it in years. Hand-me-down shorts that Noah refuses to wear. A hand-me-down t-shirt but Noah refuses to wear v-necks. Ditto plus this one is actually stained. I think it might be sunscreen stains. And the same with this one and it also has a stain. I bought this hat when I was stocking up kids clothes before we left England but Daniel didn't want to wear it and never won't wear it so I can pass that on. I never actually used this water bottle so it can go. As you can see it's actually been sitting out in my greenhouse. I have three sets of fairy lights that we brought over from England as you can tell by the plug and we never use them. We don't have a Christmas tree and I don't know why we're hanging on to them so I'm not going to anymore. And I've grown a pair of wellies. Found this in a box in the shed and obviously I don't use it so that can go. Also this little wooden easel. I had a canvas that went on it that Noah painted a self portrait of himself when he was in preschool and it was adorable but I don't know where it is so there's no point hanging on to the easel and even if I found the canvas now I've nowhere to put it so this can go. I had plans for this thrifted frame and I've never done whatever I planned. I can't even remember what I was going to do to it so uh, time to go. I have two frames here um, never used. I was gonna do like a shadow box situation but they sold as like pre-framed prints and obviously never used them so no point hanging on to them any longer. This bathing costume or togs or swimsuit whatever is a few years old and it's starting to kind of perish in places and it was also cut really narrow across the back so I always felt like my bum was hanging out and it's not the most comfortable so time for this to go. This pair of perennials reference books I don't actually reference them and I made a mistake in buying them I generally only like to buy New Zealand gardening books and this one was first published in England I don't know I just don't find it all that useful so they can go right back to the op shop where they came from this little pair of togs or swimsuit has been outgrown found some random glow stick connectors and I don't know why we still have the connectors if we no longer have the glow sticks so these can definitely go. A hat that I just don't use I kind of didn't even know I had it and I don't think I've ever worn it but if I'm not wearing it why am I keeping it? This top is kind of old and stretched out and faded and it's shrunk so it's really short as well and nobody wants to wear it. I've had this pair of knickers for years they're like brand new well, it was a five pack and there's three there, so I don't know where the others went, but they're too small and if I haven't worn them in at least six years, because that's a British price, then why am I holding on to them and when do I think I'm going to wear them? Some more togs that have been outgrown. When I bought this cushion cover online, it looked very aqua and now that it's come, it's very green, so I just don't think I'm going to use it. The lid to this jar broke ages ago. This actually was from England, that's how long I've had it. And I haven't been using it, it's been in the corner of a cupboard. So there's no point keeping it. A lampshade that I no longer need. I hope you enjoyed seeing the random crap that was lurking in my house. Honestly, I keep thinking that I've come to the end of it and I keep making another 100 things video. I just don't know when I'm gonna to get to the end of it. There just always seems to be more stuff that we don't need, but it is so freeing and refreshing to clear things out and to have extra storage space and to just free yourself from the burden of the clutter and I hope you found this motivating and inspirational to go and do the same in your own home. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.